Anti Yoshimitsu. Destroy Yoshimitsu. Punish Yoshimitsu. Good day, YouTube fam. It's Millie here from Tekken Armory. Today we'll be discussing how to effectively punish and dismantle this character. A punish is your attack, typically executed after a block, ensuring it lands on your opponent before they can regain their guard. We have several types of punishment depending on specific situations. Punishable on block moves are those you can punish after blocking your opponent's attack. Anything with a frame disadvantage of less than negative 10 is considered punishable on block. We have three types of punishable on block moves. Launch punishable on block, punish on block, neutral, and punish on block while standing. Launch punishable on block moves are the moves that you can punish using your preferred launcher since these moves are negative 15 and below on block. Let's move on to Punish on Block from Neutral Stance. Let's move on to punish on block while standing. While standing since you will be blocking their low attack or you are forced to crouch.
Let's move on to parry, reversal, power crush, or sidestep end of string. We now move on to dodge end of string high. These are just strings that have highs at the middle or the end of the string that you can crouch to and punish accordingly. We now move on to on-hit moves. Of course, there are times we get hit to recognize some of the frame data when hit is important, as well as we can still do a lot of things even if the frame advantage is on the opponent. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.